Today I'm going to explain the difference between these two different ways of transcribing speech. On the left we have slanting lines for a phonemic transcription and on the right we have square brackets for a phonetic transcription. Some dictionaries use different lines for their phonemic transcriptions such as brackets or vertical bars but we'll use the slants in this lesson. The first thing to note is that in dictionaries you are definitely going to find the ones on the left, phonemic. Phonemic essentially means one symbol for one sound. So in a word like park, in British English there are three sounds, p, r and k. In American it's pronounced park. The r is pronounced so you'll have four sounds, p, r, r and k. The phonetic transcription for standard British looks a bit different. Park, showing aspiration, a reduced vowel length and a few different possibilities for the k at the end. Park is an adjective, park is aspirated and park has no audible release. Note that all of these are preceded by a glottal stop in this case. The selection of sounds a dictionary will use in a phonemic transcription are fixed. British English dictionaries normally use an alphabet of 44 sounds or phonemes such as these which is the chart we use at Pronunciation Studio and is the same selection as the Oxford English Dictionary. It's important to note that dictionaries may not always use exactly the same set of phonemic symbols. For example, some use this symbol and others use this symbol for the sound in bat but they indicate the same sound. See the video I made on British English IPA variations which is linked in the description to find out more about why that happens. Phonemic transcriptions are really helpful, especially in a language with a strange spelling system like English because they will tell you that the A in these words is different each time. Wasp, hand, ball, park, about, late, very helpful indeed but whilst it does tell you that the sound is different it doesn't tell you exactly how to pronounce each one or how different people might pronounce them in local accents. In order to describe sounds with more detail and to be able to show different pronunciations of the same word we need a transcription with more options than just 44 sounds. Enter, you guessed it, phonetic transcription. This isn't found in dictionaries. You'll find this in phonetics and accent textbooks and pronunciation courses. Phonetic transcriptions have many more options available as they use this, the full IPA chart, which is published by the International Phonetic Association and updated occasionally in this book, the handbook of the IPA. Now you can see that there are a lot of symbols and in a phonetic transcription you can use them all. So it means you have a lot more tools to write down what is actually said. This can be really helpful if you are learning the details or nuances of a language. For example, in the word park, it will help every learner of British English to know that the p is aspirated. So you can see that there are lots of details here that we can add to a phonetic transcription. This is both the huge advantage to learning phonetics and a little bit the drawback with so many options it can become confusing to know where to draw the line in terms of detail. How accurate does this thing need to be? But this is reflected by the fact that the IPA chart has multiple uses, ranging from speech pathology to field work to creating written alphabets and of course learning languages. But in this video I'm really only interested in how it can be used for language students and language teachers in a second language learning context. So let's look at a few examples. Park, little, preach, anthem. So you can see that the phonetic transcription differs from the phonemic one each time. If we now add a regional accent, the phonetic transcription will change further. Pach, little. Preach, anthem. So there you have it. Perhaps the easiest way to think about these different transcriptions is in terms of weight. 
A phonemic transcription is light. It uses the least possible space to show how a word is pronounced. Whereas a phonetic transcription is heavy. It is packed with however much ornamentation and detail is required for its purpose. Thanks for watching. Pronunciation Studio.